Hello, what's up guys? Are you fed up of using this Fire TV home screen? Every time you wanted to watch your favorite app or any program, you have to go into the settings and straight into the application and straight into the manage installed application and launch your application from there. Well, wait no further. I have already configured on my Amazon Fire TV. So if I press the home button twice, I will be launching the Amazon Fire TV home screen which is running. If I press it once, it will launch the codes. To have this all option on your Amazon Fire TV, you need to install an application which is which is called Fire Starter. Let me show you the application first, which is just right here in the settings. So you just need to only configure this once you set it up. You don't need to worry about it after that. Manage it installed. And the application is called Fire Starter. Let's launch that one. So that's how Firestarter looks like. You can access all your favorite application. This is your Fire TV home screen, which you, which you always see that. And the settings are also there. TVMC is there. All these your favorite applications are just right here. So now you do not need to worry about it that you wanted to, wanted to use the Kodi or the home screen. You do not need to worry about it anymore, guys. Simple as that. Everything is right here. It's got a system settings. You can change what you want on your device and you do not need to root the Amazon Fire TV so you're not losing a warranty whatsoever. So if you wanted to set up the the home button from the, you know like if you wanted to press the home button once what you want to do if you want to have press the home button twice what you want to do. So for that you always need to come into the app settings and scroll down to the bottom where it says home button single click home button double click. So you can select what app you want to wanted to run wanted to run with the home button single click and with the home button double click okay so you just simply go in and single click and i already selected the tvmc which is Kodi. and for the double click i have selected the fire tv okay and one more thing what you need to do actually if you want to work this you want to run this fire starter in the beginning you can also set it into here so once you set it up you need to reboot your Amazon Fire TV should be okay after that. And, and what else you can do is uh, you can also change the wallpaper. Okay, you can select the wallpaper if you wanted any of those. I do not have anything in it, so I don't know what should I do. So I'll cancel that one, but you can change it. So change in the sense, what will happen? It will change the GUI right here for you. So it will show you how to install this Fire Starter on your Amazon Fire TV. To load this application into our Fire Television, we need to have a little bit of information and we're going to use our computer and also our ADB tool. To get that information, we need to go straight down to the settings and straight into our, into the system. In the system, you need to go to first in about. In the about, you need to get the network and you need to get the IP address, which you can get it from right there. I'm in my pajamas, don't worry about it which is 192.168.0, whatever it says. Okay, you need to remember that one. Get out of that one. And again, you need to get out of that one. Again, system. In the system, scroll down to the developer. And you need to make sure ADB debugging is on. And also, app from unknown sources is on too. These both should be ticked on. So let's get out of that one too. So now we're done here. Now we need to go onto our computer to download to side load the application into the fire tv from your computer you need to go onto the website which is called www.jocala.com and you need to download the adb fire tool so at this moment of time the latest one is running scroll down here and if you wanted to do it on windows computer you press this windows option or iOS exert. So you press, I'm using Windows 7, so I'm going to do this ADB Fire Tool 1.8, 1.28 for Windows. Once it's downloaded, I need to unzip it. It is very important. I have seen quite many people making the mistakes like this. Don't, they don't do the unzipping and they say it's not connecting. So simple as that. So once you do it, you unzip, I'm going to show you how to unzip it. And also, the starter application could be downloaded from the video description. It will be available. You need to download and put it in the safe location on your computer. What I normally do, I put them all into the desktop and put, create a folder, which is for Fire TV. So my apps and everything is there and ADB tools are there too. So I have downloaded, already downloaded ADB Fire Tool, which is here, which is 1.28 version. 
I'm going to right click it. I can open up. I can open up. If I wanted to, I can extract it that way. So once I extracted it, it will create a folder on the exactly same the root folder. There we go. It's opened up. Let's open up. Once you open up, you need to double click this one, this application, which is called adbfire.executable. Right click on it and press run as an administrator. Once it started, the application would look exactly like this one. So first thing first you need to do to connect to your Fire TV. How to connect ADB Fire, to ADB Fire tool with your TV. So you go into the setup. Once you go into the setup, you need to give him a name. Okay, I normally put the name of the where is my Fire TV at the moment. So living room. Okay, need to give him the IP address. 192.168.0.11 okay I got a Cody on it and all these options are selected nicely mode and everything you can set it to zero if you wanted to doesn't really matter so update Amazon Fire TV Cody these other options are available too check yep save press ok once you do that just press the ADB ADB server stop once it's a stop, you should be able to see ADB not running and device not connected. So when, once, it's, once it's done, both are now connected, you press the start ADB server. Once it's started running, that's fine. Now you need to connect with your Fire TV by pressing the connect. Once it's connected, you should be able to see it here, device is connected. If it's not connected, you need to make sure you should be on the same network. That is a very important thing which I need to like to mention that you need to make sure if you are connecting to a Fire TV box or any Fire TV, if you wanted to connect to any Fire TV box, you, your computer and also the Fire TV box has to be on the same network, okay? If it's not, it will never connect. So once you do that, we are connected now. So we need to go into the install apk file so we need to push an apk file into it which i already downloaded on my desktop and the fire tv i you know folder the fire tv folder which i created myself and apps so it's, this app is called fire starter dash version v 2.7 you open that one up press ok would you like to install it yes i would like to and it will be installing it. It will be scroll bar running right here. Once it's done, it will pop up an option right here in front of you. You press OK. That's it. We are done here. So to stop this, you need to, to stop this procedure right here. You're going to press the stop ADB to server and also disconnect from the fire television. We are done here on the computer. It's that simple.